everyone. I'm near Deming, New Mexico at Rockhound State Park. Uh, it's $10 a night for dry camping. We have hot showers, uh, sewer dump, potable water, and just a gorgeous park. And you see my campsite here, my rig back there. Sophie back over there. Hope she's not doing something she isn't supposed to. Let's go see. She's always been checking out those cactus over there. I think another dog had peed over there or something. <laughs> you know how that is. We got dogs. But if you look here, worry about that sun. It's kind of in this little uh, cove here. I don't know what you'd call it here on this hillside. I got fire pit, picnic shelter. And you're wondering why I'm running my generator. It's uh, it's going to be cloudy and rainy today, and I want to make sure my batteries are topped off today. So, and trash cans over there. Here, Sophie. You can take a look. I'm in the dry camping section here. It comes with my camp host. He's such a great guy. These are all dry camping up on this side. And you get over there on the other side. And those are all electric and water hookups, and you can have electric and water hookups for four dollars more, so fourteen dollars. <laughs> just incredible. There's hot showers over there that are just pristine, clean. And cleanest ones I've ever been in in a uh, state or national park. But the view and the sunset last night's incredible. At the end of the video, I'll post some uh, pictures of the sunset last night. Right over there is one of the hiking trails. There's actually a trail that circles this whole ridge. And there's another one down by the visitor center down the road down there that comes up back around and comes back over here. Uh, very beautiful place here. It's kind of protected from the wind and the elements here too. That's kind of neat. The camp post, his name is Orville. He's uh, just incredible. Explained everything to me about the place and where I need to be and gave me tips on stuff and where to go. It just what a campo should be. Can't say enough. So let's take a look around the park. I'll jump on the e-bike and show you around. Now as we take off out of the campsite here, it is a pretty steep hill up here. But my rig can make it anyone's can so There are different size sites. There are some pull through sites. Some that are more designed for tents, like that one over there. of all shapes and sizes. It's a paved road all the way in till you get right inside the park, then it turns to gravel here. This is the day use area over here. And then the entrance to the one trail as I spoke of before here. Just beautiful out here. Mm -hmm. 
now off to this other side over here is where all the electric and water sites are at and the group camping sites. Site off to the right over there is a group camping site. Over here, I believe, yeah, yeah, here's the uh, dump station down here, right off to your left here. I'll go down there, check it out. This, the, the lands, they do a real good job with the landscaping here, too. It just, over, they do a great job with this park all around. I just can't say enough. Here is uh, rinse out and uh, sewer dump. Potable water right here. Here's another campsite with hookups. And here's the shower and bathroom facility, fairly new, you can see here. And like I said, all these on this side are uh, electric and uh, water sites here. Alright, well, I can't recommend this uh, this park enough, so... If you're in the area and you need a place to stay, check it out. $10 a night to dry camp, $14 for uh, electric and water. You got a dump station. Quiet night sleep. It was so quiet out here. I didn't even hear a coyote last night. So, <laughs> I mean, it's uh, that quiet. Even the wildlife is, uh, is uh, courteous, it lets you sleep. <laughs> but... Uh, Remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll leave you some pictures at the end of the video so you can check it out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.